So for those of you new in the room, for the next few minutes, I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about who we are, where we've come from, give you a little insight into what the Forever Opportunity is all about. And the, the slide we have at the moment, I guess, um, talks a little about the very many reasons that people get involved with us. Um, you know, this is an opportunity for, for you to get into business for yourself, but definitely not be by yourself, and you'll get a sense of that today. It's a very sharing, supportive environment that we've created, particularly here in the, in the UK business. You'll hear very many of our leading business owners today sharing best practice with you. It's almost like having, a, I guess, a board of non-executive directors for your own business that you can um, resource and, and get inspiration and ideas from. And, and it doesn't really matter why you're getting involved with us. It doesn't matter where you've come from. It's more about where you want to get to. And you'll see later on in the presentation that you know, this is a business that's a little like a buffet table. You can take from it what you want. And so if you're in the audience today for the first time thinking, well, you know, I'd like to create an extra two, three, four hundred pound a month extra income, you can see during the day that it's very possible for you to achieve that. Equally, if you're in a room thinking, I'd like to develop a new career, it's possible to do that too. And you'll hear also from our speakers often a little bit about their background. And that's important for us to share so that you can understand that there's no stereotypical background that our successful leaders come from. Literally, all walks of life, all ages, all shapes and sizes, there's no consistency there. I guess what is consistent about the people who get involved with us is the recognition that if they don't do something different, if they don't change their lives in some way, if they keep doing the same things every day that they've always done, they're likely to get the same result. So it is a little bit about a, a refocus and, uh, and just uh, focusing what we'd like to get from our business. So who are we? We're a 41-year-old business this year, so that means we have a, a long history in our industry. We're a, a multi-billion dollar company, but we originally started from small, humble beginnings in Phoenix, Arizona. Our founder, Rex Morn, literally creating this business from his home. We now span the globe, 160 plus markets, which means that for you and I as business owners, because I also have a forever business, that's how I came into forever before I was country manager, um, that means we can, if we want to, develop not just a local business or a national business, but develop an international business. And uh, my observation, certainly in the last few years, is that it's much easier to do that now than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago because of the technology that we now have at our fingertips. Most of you in the audience today, if not all of you, will have somewhere in your pocket or in your, your purse a, a smartphone. And essentially, that's all you need now to communicate with the world using very many platforms that are often are free to us. And so we see very early on now in the uh, career of a, of a business owner, often they develop a, an international business. For the benefit of our guests in the room, put your hand in the air if you've got an income stream from forever from more than one country. Okay, probably 30, 40% of us. So that's one of the choices that you'll make as a business owner. Do you want this to be local, national, or international? We're cash rich, we're debt free. In 1993, when I first looked at Forever, as I'm sure many of you did before you joined Forever, you want to reassure yourself that this is a business that's well run. That if you put time, effort and energy into it, which you'll have to do, as you would with any business in order to grow it, you want to reassure yourself that it's going to be around in the future so that you can continue to reap the rewards of your efforts. So, what I know from forever is we've always been cash rich, debt free. When we expand our business in any way, and we heard in Stockholm, for example, about the recent investments that forever have made into particularly the manufacturing side of the business, some of the machinery that we use in order to make our products. And, and sometimes those investments in machinery are not insignificant. Some of this high tech machinery now can sometimes cost a million dollars just for one piece of kit or more. So we do that from our reserves, from the profits that we make in our countries around the world. Very many of the buildings that we operate from are owned completely by Forever. Our beautiful office just down the road here, Longbridge Manor, is um, completely owned by Rex Morn. How many of you have visited Longbridge? 
Okay, super. For those of you that haven't, as with all of our country offices, it's very much an open door policy there. We don't see it as our building being the staff we see it as your building. And uh, certainly in the case of Longridge Manor, I don't know, we'd probably get at least 200 visitors a week through the door, business owners, guests, people coming with their teams. I'd encourage you to do that. So you can get a li little insight into the fact that even though you're running a home-based business and you don't have any staff or stock or premises, we have that resource to support you and you can access that uh, resource. You're going to hear a little about our products today, and of course, um, any company is only as successful as its products. And for us, this is a really unique feature. You know, we're the world's largest grower and producer of aloe vera based products, and we've held that um, accolade or mantle for, for very many years. And when you get to understand our products, and the best way to do that is by using our products, you'll find that they're a product range from which people develop a strong emotional attachment. They don't want to be without our products. I certainly would not want to be without very many of our aloe products, which I've used on a daily basis for over 20 years. And the reason for that is I feel good when I use them. And that is a, a real success formula if you're wanting to develop a business for yourself. A product that people can't get from the shop, they have to buy it from you. A product that has an emotional attachment to it. A product that is consumable. We tick all of those boxes. A product that we and you can be really proud of, so proud that we can offer a 60-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Not many companies have the confidence to do that with their product. We've done that for 41 years, which must tell you that the product works, because if it didn't, we wouldn't have survived that long. The reality is we get less than half of 1% of our product to come back under the guarantee, and that guarantee also includes damage and breakage, so it's not that people send it back just because they don't like it or it didn't work for them. That is very rare indeed. And in the photograph here, our three flagship products, which are our aloe drinks, which for very many years have accounted for around about half of our turnover. Is there anybody in the room who hasn't drunk our delicious aloe yet? Okay, you're in for a treat if you haven't, and there's some outside. And sometimes when you first drink aloe, it can be a little bit of an acquired taste, but you soon get used to it, and you get used to it because you feel so good when you drink it. And if you're struggling to get used to it, I've always said that the bigger your bonus check gets, the more delicious it tastes. So does anybody think it's really delicious? Okay, these are the ones to hang out with. They're the ones with the, the big bonus checks for sure. So you'll hear more about that a little bit later on. And one of the keys to our quality is this total integration, what's called a vertical integration, owning the plantations, owning the manufacturing facilities for our aloe, and of course the distribution channel too. So we know exactly what goes in our products, which is why we're confident to give that 60-day uh, that money-back guarantee. So when we talk about the business model, an opportunity for you to work from home, to choose your hours, to choose who you work with, and actually also over time to choose how big or small you want that business to be. And across the world now we have close to 10 million business owners, we call them. Some of them really don't run a business with us. Some of them just use the products and enjoy that, and that's fine. A big group of people just like to work a few hours a month looking after their regular customers. And as part of our training programs, you'll hear how to get those regular customers and how to look after them. And then others, as you'll hear today in very many stories, also build teams of people around the world. And so they can then access that larger income simply by building a bigger distribution channel. So we're paid completely on the movement of product, whether it's in a small way to a handful of customers personally, or whether it's in a bigger way through teams around the world. And on the screen here, some indication of the type of income levels. But there's no ceiling. You know, this isn't a job. Nobody from head office is ever going to write to you saying, you're not working hard enough, you need to do more. When you look in the mirror, in the morning as a forever business owner, you're looking at the boss. And that can be really liberating. It can also be scary, of course, at times, because it means the responsibility is with you for your business, but that, I like it that way. So many people in life 
spend their whole life, you know, working to build somebody else's dream. That's a phrase that our founder uses a lot. Why work to build somebody else's dream? Why not work to build your own dream? And, you know, if you're in a job, and, and very many people love their jobs, I'm not knocking that aspect. However, somebody is putting a value on your time in that job, and that job will have a range of values across the country. You know, if we're recruiting people for a role at head office, for example, I don't know, whatever the role is, maybe marketing, there'll be a band that marketing people are paid around the country, and that's the band that most organizations work in. So most people who have a job have a cap on their income or their income potential set by somebody else. So here's an opportunity to not have that cap, because equally, we'll never write to you saying you're making too much money. Do you like that? you like the sound of that? Nobody's ever going to say you're making too much. We incentivize you, we encourage you, but ultimately you decide where you want to go with that. Along with the bonus checks that you get paid on the distribution of product through your team, we're always creating incentives. Some of them are global incentives that remain pretty consistent. We talked just a few seconds ago about the ability to travel. We hold a global rally every year, and you can qualify for that by creating a certain volume of products moving through your organization. When you do that, you get a return ticket, you stay a number of days depending on your volume, and you also get spending money while you're there. When you arrive, literally, you get a, a pack of goodies. In fact, talk to somebody who's been to the rally. They'll describe it better than me, but a pack of goodies, um, some logoed livery, rucksack, perhaps, um, you get a, a debit card or prepaid card that you can withdraw cash to keep you going while you're there. And uh, I always love watching the brand new qualifiers with their debit card because sometimes people are still a little bit skeptical. The first thing they do is run to the ATM and go, oh my goodness, it works, there's really money in here. And over the course of the years, you can get to see lots and lots of countries as a result of that incentive. And the second travel incentive is around uh, an Eagle Manager program, which we also will talk about today. And then we've got some local incentives, and during the course of the year, we often layer that with additional incentives. So we like to encourage you to just go that extra mile. I thought you might like to know some unusual facts today as well. What do you think? Thought for the benefit of those who've been around for a while who go, you know, while well, Bob always talks about the same thing, I'm fed up of hearing about the 60-day money-back guarantee. I'm fed up of who's never going to write to me. Anybody think that? You do sometimes. So here's some interesting facts. Over 8 million gallons of aloe vera gel passes from the plantations to aloe vera of America every day. Oh, I was expecting at least a ooh. Come on, I spent hours putting this together. Thank goodness for that. I knew these club class seats were a bad idea. <laughs> we perform over 1.4 million quality checks. Did anybody in Stockholm listen to the new advisory board members that they interviewed from the stage? Do you remember one of them saying he was astounded at the number of quality checks and the detail that we went to manufacturing our products. In fact, very many of people have said to me who are knowledge, more knowledgeable than me, we perform more checks than very many of the pharmaceutical companies in performing our products or p uh, producing our products. So lots of quality checks. We can literally trace every one of your products back to the plantation. <laughs> You're better over this side than this side. You're really slow over this side. The woos are coming quicker from here. We hand fill it, the leaves. So, okay, what's the big deal with that? Well, let me tell you, that takes a lot more time than perhaps some of our other competitors in the aloe world who just simply take a tractor down the plantation, take the whole lot up and use the whole leaf. And there are some things in the outer leaf that we really don't want in our products, which is why we only use the inner leaf. We are constantly trying to be more environmentally friendly, hence the move last year to Tetra Pak for our aloe gels from plastic, and we're constantly recycling as much as we possibly can. That includes, by the way, the plastic that you sometimes get in your boxes for packaging, and we're working all the time to be better in those areas, and sometimes we um, have to take a little bit of time to find um, better products for that. We're investing quite uh, a lot in our technology and in our equipment so that we can be more energy efficient too. 
and that's a, a mission that we've been on, a journey that we've been on for, for very many years. We hold very many awards in the, the US, including the ISO seal on our manufacturing side, but we've also received the Blue Thumb Award. Now, whoever thought of that, the Blue Thumb? Last time I got a blue thumb, it's because I hit it with a hammer. But anyway, the Blue Thumb Award, um, it's a commitment to keeping our waterways clean. We use a lot of water in the manufacture of our products. 85% of what you get in your box is recyclable materials, and we're working on that all the time, including the plastic air cushions that we put in to stabilize the product when it's being shipped. And of course, our Tetra Pak is also made from recyclable materials. So we are doing our best to support the environment. We're also doing our best to support the communities that we work with. Um, many of you know, and indeed in Stockholm, once again, we were involved in packing meals for Rise Against Hunger. And uh, you have an opportunity, if you want to join us, the last Saturday in August at Longbridge Manor, we are going to be food packing again for Rise Against Hunger. If you go onto the ticket website, you'll be able to buy a ticket for £10 to join us. The only reason we charge £10 for you to join us is so that we know how many people are coming. All of the £10 goes to Rise Against Hunger, and we're going to attempt to pack 180,000 meals on that day. So we need your help. We need about four or five hundred of you on, da on the day across a couple of shifts. Um, you're very welcome also to bring your, your children with you. We're going to have face painting, bouncy castles, lots of stuff going on. And if the kids are uh, anyway old enough, we can get them involved in some small activities. But they'll be completely safe and it's a very, very worthwhile cause. But also a fun day. There's going to be food and music, etc. So, can I ask you for your support there so that we hit our target? Our global target is five million meals. We're well on the way to that, and uh, it's a worthwhile course. OK, I'd like you to help me uh, just recognize the contribution of one of our significant teams, the most significant team, actually, that we work with here, which is our leadership team, our top business owners. Um, with whom we have a really close relationship between the head office team and our business owners. Yesterday we had a full day in Longbridge Manor planning some exciting things for you, um, part of which is looking at our success stage. You're going to hear later on today we've got some exciting things planned for those. But incentives, um, our presentations, some of the tools that you use when you're engaging with customers and with business or potential business owners come from the combined shared knowledge and commitment of our leadership team. So if these guys are in the room, if you could stand, please, we'd love to recognize you for your contribution. For those of you new in the room, I hope that's given you a little insight into the world of being a forever business owner. And for me, this quote encapsulates that journey, deciding to, do, to decide to become one of those people who choose to lead their lives by design, not by default. For me, that's a really, really powerful statement. And it's reinforced for me so often when I, when I talk to people in, in a wider audience than the forever world, because some people I speak to just do not want to accept any responsibility for their future. Have you met people like that? It's always somebody else's fault. It's Brexit or the government or it's me boss or it's whatever. And this is about recognizing that actually that mindset doesn't really move you far. Deciding what you want and recognizing that that will take a, a commitment and energy and courage to do that is the way to be. Don't lead your life by default. People who've chosen to challenge their limiting beliefs, I can promise you that every person that we recognize today has challenged those limiting beliefs. Whilst I say, and it's true, that We've come very much from different backgrounds before we become a forever business owner. Some of the fears and doubts we have are consistent amongst all of us. Can I do this? Will it work for me? What will my friends think? What will my family think? I've never heard of this forever living thing before, this network marketing thing. What will people think? You know, that, that, those are all limiting beliefs that we have to face and overcome. And that's part of growing. That's part of being the best, becoming the best that we can be. People who've decided that whatever they choose to attempt, the greatest quality of all is to believe that we can do it. Henry Ford said, whether we think we can or whether we think we can't, we're right. 
So I hope if you're new in the room today, that's firstly given you a little insight into who we are. I hope as the day goes on that you get the excitement and the courage and the vision to see that a year from now or six months from now or a few years from now, your life could be completely different. And listen carefully to the stories today and you'll see that we're more alike than different and that the very people we're interviewing today are perhaps facing, have faced the same fears and doubts that you have, but they've set themselves a, a clear vision of what they want and they've worked hard on a consistent basis to achieve what they've achieved. Mm -hmm.